There was a story I heard a while back. I've heard several versions of it. But one version talks about a banquet room that was filled for some special occasion. And they had brought in an orator to come in and recite great works of poetry and famous writings. And at the end of the night, after he had mesmerized the crowd, he asked if there were any requests for him to recite. And an old man from the back of the room stood up and said, I'd like to request the 23rd Psalm. And the speaker said, I'll make a deal with you. I'll recite it if, when I'm done, if you'll recite it for us. In closing, he said, sure, I'll do that. And he sat down and the orator got up and gave a resounding, amazing, powerful recitation of the 23rd Psalm. And the place stood and gave him an ovation and clapped and thought they were amazed. And then the old man stood up quietly and in a crackled, well-worn voice began to speak, not in the same dynamic way as the orator, but just in his own quiet way, began to say, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Said it in his way, nobody clapped, nobody stood up, but there was a hush that fell over the room and there wasn't a dry eye in the building. And at the end of it, someone went up to the, the hired orator and said, what do you think the difference was in your delivery of this psalm? And he said, I know the psalm, but he knows the shepherd. There's something about, there's something different in singing about him and knowing about him than it is to walk with him and to know him, to go through the valley of the shadow of death and know that he is with you. I don't, I hope it's okay if I share this one more story before we sing the second song. As last month, I believe it was, we were in St. Louis for a funeral of Brother Tony Sharp's mom, Sister LaDonna Sharp, a faithful woman of God. And she had complications with COVID-19 and, um, so she was required to be in isolation for the last several weeks of her life. And her pastor was able to call her and talk to her, I think through the glass or maybe just on the phone in the waiting room. He said, Sister Sharp, I'm just so sorry that you've had to be alone these last several weeks. It just tears me up. He said, oh no. She said, oh no, Pastor. No, I have not been alone one moment. The Lord has been with me in this room. I have felt his presence and he's never left me. That's the kind of relationship I want with the shepherd. I don't just want to know about him, but I want to know that I am not alone. He goes with me. I can go through anything if the Lord is with me. The Lord is my shepherd. my shepherd he goes before me he goes before me defender behind me. defender behind me I won't fear I won't fear I'm filled with anointing with anointing, my cup's overflowing. My cup's overflowing. No weapon harm no me. No weapon can harm me. I won't fear. I won't fear. Oh. Stars my 
Let me show. 